known by its map designation as Area 51. We're now learning Area 51. Known as Area 51. Thank you Near for clearing area that up. Area 51. Thank you. Known as Area 51. Because Area 51 is very important. They called him Jimmy. And everybody wanted to be his friend. What's good, what's good? Welcome here to Area 51 here with your host Jimmy. Another day in the jungle. So let's get it, you know, subscribe and give us a like. And also become part of our community in goldenhourboxing.com and give us that like all right let's get some boxing here done and uh you know uh, as we all know tyson fury and Usyk did not agree to have any fight it was all tyson fury he didn't want to take the fight and even though he was offered 70 30 the there was a clause uh rematch clause that Usyk was trying to make happen but apparently Tyson Fury was just, you know, not interested in doing the fight. And no matter what happens in the end of the day, these fighters, you know, they're either going to take the fight, they're not going to take the fight. So it is what it is. But uh, the good news is that now Wilder says, and this is the quote from his manager, this is uh, Shelly Finkel, and he told Sky Sports that if Usyk is available, if the Usyk fight is available, Deontay Wilder. We'll take it in a heartbeat so uh, i think this is a very good chance for Usyk because right now there's not any other fighter that will pose a threat like deontay wilder i don't think that you know i want to see daniel dubois i know he just beat this other guy a known guy for the wba title but i don't, I don't think daniel dubois and any of these british fighters will give him a good fight i think deontay wilder actually will give him um, a really good fight and Deontay Wilder just came from being Robert Lenius. I remember Robert Lenius beat Adam Kanaki two times. And uh, Adam Kanaki was coming, you know, from destroying people. And he fought Robert Lenius and, you know, and he lost. And now Wilder comes, destroys Robert Lenius in less than one round. I think it even, le- I think it even lasted like one round or two rounds. And now I think uh, this poses a, a, a good scenario for Wilder. Now, I know... He was in negotiations with a UFC fighter. I forgot what his name was, some African guy. They always have weird names. And, um, you know, apparently he was negotiating to fight in UFC and then possibly fight in boxing to uh, a two-fight contract for two, the two of the sports. But apparently, I don't know what's happened. I don't know if it's official or not. He still doesn't have a fight. So it would be a good idea for Wilder to take this fight and to push for it. I know that Alexander Usyk said that he would fight Wilder if he couldn't take a fight with Fury. So I think it's a really good opportunity for, you know, Wilder to get this fight and perhaps have a chance again in getting those three belts, which would be very weird if he did get the three belts because that would put him in a position where he could become undisputed again, or at least one fight to become undisputed for a four fight with Fury. Now, um, that is, is, you know, a good fight. And uh, I would like to see it. I think it would be very interesting. A lot of people think that Usyk would box Wilder out. But I think that Wilder could stretch him out in one shot. And that's the danger with Wilder. He can hit you with one shot and just fuck you up. So I think that's a a very good, good, good fight. And I think if there's a fighter that can really surprise Usyk in that division, could be Wilder. Because, see, with a fighter like Usyk, you know, if you try to outbox him, you're going to lose. And actually, Wilder loses most of his boxing matches. Like, he, he was losing when he fought uh, King Corner Ortiz. King Corner Ortiz without, was out boxing him. But then Wilder just throws that right hand and it's game over. Uh, it was kind of the same thing with Tyson Fury. But when Tyson Fury got caught, it was over. And, uh, you know, he is that sort of fighter that is just, you know, really dangerous. So, at the end of the day, it's not like you... Um, it's not like Usyk wouldn't outbox Wilder. The, the problem is that when he gets caught, could he beat him, right? And I think that's a very dangerous fight for Usyk. But I think it would be great for his resume if he took Wilder. And there shouldn't be any excuses um, from either Wilder or Usyk fights if they take this fight. Because Usyk fans are saying, well, Wilder is not worth a shot anymore because he lost against Fury. And then, you know... Uh, in, in the case of Wilder fans, I think that 
there basically if he, if if he lost against Usyk, they would say he was washed up. So this is one of this is one of the reasons why a lot of fights are not made because fans make a lot of shit up. If Usyk were to fight Wilder, that would be an excellent fight, and that would be really good for his career because he's fighting one of the most powerful knockout artists in the heavyweight history. Now, a lot of people claim that the heavyweight history is not as what it was before. I agree. From it's not like you know the '90s or whatever, but it's better than the Klitschko era. So you know, uh, it's still it's it's still a really good fight. And um, and if he beats Wilder, you know, which he does have a chance to beat Wilder, I think he will be favored in the fight. Um, then he he's he's beat Anthony Joshua, Wilder, Anthony Joshua two times, Wilder, and then we just have to fight uh, Tyson Fury, you know, for uh, undisputed. And that will be it. And he would have an amazing legacy. And that would be great. So I would love to see that fight. Waller versus Usyk. I think it's a very dangerous fight for Usyk. And uh, will be great to see. Anyway, let's see what happens. And let's see what Usyk does now that he can't get the fight with Fury. Let's see. So do subscribe says like they say in New Mexico. And uh, give us a like here and subscribe to GoldenHourBoxing.com for more information, stories, and everything else related with boxing. To the next video. Peace out.